All the best programmers in the world love Visual Studio Code, while all the worst programmers will love to hate Visual Studio Code. But recently, our world just became a better place when JetBrains made their popular WebStorm IDE free. In today's video, we'll break down all of WebStorm's greatest features and decide if it's finally time to take VS Code behind the barn. Now, I know what you VS Code diehards are thinking. But I've got 47 extensions that make VS Code exactly like WebStorm. Yeah, and I've got a bicycle with a rocket strap to it that makes it exactly like a motorcycle. Come on, <laughs> let's be real here. What does WebStorm bring to the table out of the box? Well, intelligence so artificial it might start writing our standup updates for you, refactoring tools that make your code look like it was written by someone who actually knows what they're doing, Git integration so smooth it makes VS Code's source control look like it was designed by a cat walking across a keyboard, a debugger that doesn't make your question your career choices, and many, many more. Anyway, VS Code users are more concerned how they're Editor looks when someone is spying on their laptop at Starbucks and any real coding features. Here's the kicker. It's only free for non-commercial use. Building that side project that'll never make money? Check. Unsuccessfully contributing to open source? Check. Learning new frameworks at 3am? Check. Building the next Facebook? Sorry Zuck Jr, you'll need to pay up. So, is it time to take VS Code behind the barn? Well, let's be honest. VS Code is like the trusty Honda Civic of the coding world. It gets the job done, it's reliable, and it's not going anywhere. But WebStorm? WebStorm is like getting a Tesla for free as long as you promise not to use it as an Uber. I think a free WebStorm has tons of potential, but it's definitely not a VS Code killer and I'm not even sure that's what JetBrains is going for. They just need more anonymous data to train their AI models, I guess. But jokes aside, if you want to be a real alpha like the Primogen, you should use Vim. I want to replace it with its lowercase version throughout the entire string and with no errors and then an underscore in front of each one of them. Execute it, go back up one, bring it up the line, back down, end the macro, play it again, email, play it again, last updated, and look at that little underscore with last updated. Tell me that's not amazing!